you updated Eyewitness News, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Let's synchronize our watches. Right now, it's 12 17 38. At 8.54 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, it's the autumnal equinox. And you're, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, it's going to be 95 degrees today in the shade, and you're talking about autumn. It doesn't feel anything like fall, I know, but it will. On Saturday, it is going to be noticeably cooler. You will be much happier uh, if you're tired of this heat and humidity. Uh, King's Cam right here downtown Owensboro looking out toward the Blue Bridge. You can just see a few clouds out there. I mean, it is so warm aloft. I would be surprised if we saw anything develop as far as any thunder shower or even just some rain of any note uh, today. So looks like a dry day today. Different story tomorrow, of course. Downtown uh, Evansville from our Tule Law Sky Camera there, high atop Fifth Third Bank, looking out toward the west side. You can see a little bit of cloud cover uh, looking out toward the west, but not much. 91 degrees. That's the actual temperature. The dew point at 70, so it is stifling out there. I mean. I think what, what makes this heat wave the toughest, this is the seventh day, by the way, of this particular heat wave, is the fact that it's so late in the season. I mean, we're, I mean, summer is hanging on to the bitter end as far as the high heat, right? South, southwest wind. Pretty good breeze today, though. And that's one reason why we don't have an air quality alert is because of the wind. It's helping to blow those particulates around so we don't, got, we don't have the uh, ozone levels kind of building up on us. So that's good news there, at least. That's about the only good news I've got in this forecast for today. 94, the actual temperature in Henderson, 93 Owensboro, 93 in Morganfield, and 92 degrees beaver down. Far north in, you know, in Vincennes, it's 92 degrees, 93 in Flora. Now you tack on the humidity, what's it feel like? We've got triple digits already. At the noontime hour, feels like 101 in Carmi, 100 in Harrisburg, 100 in Flora. Not much better here in Evansville at 97. 99 right now, the feels like temperature in Owensboro. That's the heat index. What about the ice cream index? Well, let's put it at sure. <laughs> and it's going to be pleased. Uh, before this day is done. But again, we can just tough it out this one last day. We're going to be okay. John, let's tough it through this funky fruit. Courtesy of Reed's Orchard. Three, two, one. Funky okay. fruit. Today's funky fruit. I love this one. This is, now, I've done this once before in my life, and I was really impressed with myself, even though I had nothing to do with it. Uh, but Heather Dwayne Carmen, she cut open her green pepper like she does, and this is the base of the green pepper, and she said the green pepper smiled back at me. <laughs> I love it. You got smiley face green pepper, and it looks almost like the rays of the sun, if you're going to do like a cartoon sun right there, like the old raisin brand or something, a green sun. Heather, thank you so much for that funky green pepper, a very happy green pepper. It's probably thinking ahead to the weekend and the temperatures we're going to have then. Nothing showing up on our radar, of course. Now, as we take a look at the bigger picture, we do have, or had anyway, a few showers up around Chicago, but as we look up to the north, really a lot of that action has moved to the east. Now, it's a problem for Detroit. But it's not a problem for Chicago if you're going to be heading up there later on this afternoon. It looks like most of the activity, the showers and thunderstorms, will be staying to the north of the Windy City. For us, of course, plenty of sunshine, and it's going to be a steamy high in the mid-90s, feeling like 100-plus throughout the afternoon. So no break, even a temporary break from the heat with some showers. But tomorrow, different story. Here we are at noon. We've got our first wave, really our first broken line of showers and thunder showers pushing into the Wabash River Valley and then heading into the Evansville Metro early afternoon. That's not the main line along the front. That's moving in later in the afternoon. We do have an isolated severe threat for damaging winds. One of these storms could pulse up and bring some damaging winds. You know, 60 mile per hour wind gusts are greater, but that is a marginal risk. The entire tri-state has that marginal risk. That's gonna be late afternoon. Moving into the Evansville area, it looks like right now, uh, right around 6 o'clock will be the main line, and then pushing on through. I still think we're going to get to the upper 80s, and in some locations down to the southeast, we'll probably still hit 90, even though we are going to see extra cloud cover tomorrow. So keep that in mind. It's still going to be pretty warm tomorrow ahead of that front. Now, 8 o'clock, of course, the football games are going on. Along and south of the Ohio, that's where the best chance for rain is going to be at that point. So the games north of the river are looking a lot better uh, than the games south of the river as far as any delays. And we will be seeing some lightning along that line, so we could have some lightning delays. Now, for our Saturday, we start out dry. Looks like we've got a little wave of rain, just some light rain, it looks like, uh, popping up mid-afternoon for our Saturday. And a lot of things going on on Saturday, I realize that. But in the morning, it looks dry. And even in the evening, just a few spotty showers, mainly down to the south, closer to where that frontal boundary is going to be, which is pretty much right along the Kentucky-Tennessee border. So... Uh, then, so things are looking good 
by Saturday evening. Still a lot of clouds hanging around, and it's going to be a lot cooler on Saturday. Here's my forecast for today. Plenty of sunshine, a near record high in the mid-90s. We might hit a record. A 95 is a record set in 1940. I'm calling it 94, but really I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 95 or even 96 and broke the record. Pretty good breeze out there, though, from the south at 5 to 15. We'll be in the upper 80s to around 90 tomorrow. It all depends on when that front slides on through. It'll be in the afternoon, but we're going to be seeing that isolated severe threat, too. Look at the temperatures, though, over the weekend. Alexandra, even though we do have some chances for rain, 40 and 30 percent Saturday and Sunday, we're talking about low to mid-70s both Saturday and Sunday for highs. That's looking a lot more It's going to feel fun. really nice for us, but it's going to be a shock because it's been so hot these past few days. We're not going to know what to do. I'll take that shock. I'll take my chances with it. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Ron. Well, still ahead on Eyewitness News at Noon, we'll introduce you to our pet of the day right after this.